Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. It seems like a strange choice, I, on more than one level. I can understand how it might seem that way. It was, it is something new. New discoveries are always welcome. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. No use. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Hey there. Good evening. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase-out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. We're all looking forward to working with you. Hey, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it.
you had time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. And those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the Robotics Division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. It's great to have you here. Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Father is more than just our leader. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Excuse me. Be on the lookout for unusual synth behavior. Excuse me. Scanning. Subject identified. I'm heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. What now? They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrade. You're here. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Mm, please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft? Methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. The directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. If you see any suspicious synth activity, report it immediately. Doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, 
You're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any... issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? Oh, it's nothing personal. I don't trust anyone. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. So basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? If that's a pre-war reference, then I'm afraid it's lost on me. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Justin. Yes? What do you need? I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Dr. Ayo. What do you want? And please, make it quick. If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Seriously. Hey there. I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. What's Justin doing that's causing friction? Oh, he's just pushy and demanding. He thinks his problems should be everyone's biggest concern. I have to admit, though, the other divisions have never taken our needs as seriously as they should. I guess they see us as a necessary evil or something. It's really not fair. Oh, just listen to me. It's the first chance we've had to get acquainted, and all I want to do is complain. In any case, it was good to meet you. Alana. Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. I just wish it didn't happen so often. Identity. Clearance confirmed. <sighs> it's just remarkable. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that. All this must be a little overwhelming for you. Good to see you. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Child synth prototype may truly be the key to our future. 
<clears throat> Not everything you've heard about the well, Institute is true. That was Give productive. us a chance. Excuse me, Doctor. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. How many rules are we talking about here? <laughs> Not nearly enough, if you ask me. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Uh, how big is this handbook? Just a few thousand pages, but I like to think it's a brisk read. I certainly find it so. Take care, then. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma emitters. Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Nobody can memorize a dozen blueprints. I didn't say it was easy, but I've been practicing at it since I was a little girl. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. I get the impression you don't want me here. What I want, in this case, is largely irrelevant. Father gave his orders. Oh, before I forget, let me see that Pip-Boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A courser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. I used to work exclusively on the Senate project. Operating at full capacity.
Feels like this project has been going on for months. We are honored to welcome you here. Hello. Is it true yeah. Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. Hello. Please ensure that your dietary requirements are being filled. What have you got? I can offer a range of nutritious and great tasting food supplements. Food Supplement 7 is very popular for its spicy flavor. And Food Supplement 91 is our newest offering. Let's see what you've got. Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad? And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You saved a lot of synths. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Good. He's here. C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I find that hard to believe. That's what the railroad does, Z1. He's from the surface. If you insist we speak in front of him, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Liam. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. 
Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, the obvious place to look won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... Dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. 